Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Thanks for the introduction. Uh, it's an honor to be here to present a Pangu uh, paper. I'm Zhong Jie Wu from Alibaba Cloud. Pangu is a uni unified storage system has been used widely in Alibaba Cloud. Most of our data have been deep, uh, stored in Pangu system. Pangu is built on top of the community hardware and supporting all kinds of storage media, such like uh, the low cost hard, hard disk drive and uh, the high performance MME SSD, extreme low latency non-volatile memory, and can support both x86 and uh, ARM CPU architectures. Pangu has been deployed in that center all over the world and provide storage service to all kinds of application. Typically, uh, like the database, online search, big data analysis, and also the message queue, and also the variable general cloud storage service are all run on top of the Pangu platform. Pangu was designed to start from 29. Until now, it has been polished by actual applications more than 13 years. The first generation of Pangu was designed to deal with the scalability, reliability, and availability issues that are all basic problems needed to handle for cloud storage. About seven years ago, new storage media like MME SSD has been a significant impact to storage area people start to think about how to design new storage system to leverage the high performance of the new storage media like the MME. Another impact to cloud storage is more and more latency sensitive applications move to cloud. They need low latency and high IOPS. Driven by the new, new demands and technologies, Pangu involved to the second generation to resolve the uh, performance issues to satisfy the plenty of new requirements. This is an overview architecture of cloud storage based on second generation Pangu. It can be divided into three parts, Pangu Core, Storage Service, and Monitor. Pangu Core provides persistent file storage, and it's made up of master, chunk server, and client. Storage service is built on top of Pangu Core, and usually it's uh, just like a LSM tree storage engine provide that index and the compaction. Monitor is used to manage the whole system automatically, and AI assistant method always be used. Today, this paper is focused on how to, how to do performance design for Pangu to address challenges introduced by the new storage media. First, let's take a look at what's performance design challenges for Pangu. The performance of MME SSD is improved dramatically, uh, uh, dramatically compared to the conventional hard disk drive. Look at this figure. Single MME SSD has provided more than 1 million IOPS. But hard disk drive just can provide about 200 IOPS, 5,000 times improvement. With IOPS increase, the latency still can keep lower than 20 microseconds. That's an amazing thing for applications, more IOPS and less latency. So in order to fully use our MME, we need to think about how to do performance design to deal with the challenges about latency and SLA to achieve 100 microsecond average latency and control P39 tail latency around the millisecond level. Additionally, we need to remove all the limitations introduced by the hardware and the software to improve IO efficiency. Conventional storage software stack always Design that depends on Linux kernel components, such like EIT4 file system. Kernel provides plenty of features to make system design easily, but introduce more overheads, such like context switch and memory copy. In order to reduce latency, we proposed a user space storage operating system called USSOS 
to simplify high performance system de development and bypass kernel to reduce latency. USSOS manages all storage resources, including device, memory, task, and file system. By using run to complete thread model, user level memory, task scheduling, and user space file system, the latency introduced by the software stack can be controlled less than 3.2 microseconds. In order to reduce average latency, full stack optimization is needed. Distributed storage system is made up of multiple components. The cooperation protocol between components should be designed carefully to reduce latency. Pangu provides very simple flat log file interface to applications, which can just allow users do append-only write to simplify the interactions between clients and the master. By the simplified protocol, the number of RPC can be decreased to reduce latency. Besides that, in control paths, Pangu adopts distributed master that not only enhance availability, but also increase metadata processor ability to reduce latency. Cache, prefetch, and batch optimizations are all used in client side to further reduce latency. In data pass, enhanced RDMA is deployed in backend network. Hardware and software co-design methods are also used to remove limitations made by software and hardware which will be talked below in detail. In order to reduce latency dramatically, that layout also should be designed carefully. In Pangu storage engine, data and matter are packed together and write once to decrease the number of I operations. Pangu is built uh, based on community hardware. Occasional failure of hardware is normal, such like network link jitter and uh, slow disk. or occasional failure will cause tail latency. To our cloud customer, tail latency may mean slow I.O. and will affect their business significantly. So how to control unacceptable tail latency becomes a big challenge. Pank will propose lots of tail latency-oriented design to make P39 tail latency less than 10 million seconds. Here gives an example to show how to control right tail latency by Pangu. Why client want to write B into CS123, but unfortunately, CS3 has issue and cannot do response in time, but CS1 and 2 has been replied. For three copies, if two copies replied, the user request can be finished to reduce latency. And in order to improve reliability, the third copy still keep in client memory and do retry in background. This pro process it can be coded as chasing write. Client continue to write. CS1, if CS1 encounter failure, why write D? In this case, Client will seal current chunk and switch to a new one to make the whole write go smoothly. This process is called as non-stop write. All these mechanisms in Pangu are designed to reduce tail latency. This is the latency and SLA evaluation results monitored in our actual production environment. EBS and search are the typical latency-sensitive applications in cloud. We gathered one month's metrics data. Through the figure, we can see for EBS service, the average write latency is controlled under 100 microsecond, and the P39 tail latency is less than one millisecond. And for online search service, the average read latency is controlled about 200 microseconds, and the P39 read tail latency is less than 5 milliseconds. By adopting user space storage design, 
full stack latency optimization and tail latency control mechanism. Pangu 2 actually satisfied most of our customer requirements and offer excellent performance. But we still found that the storage hardware resource cannot be 100% used due to IO bottleneck. Let's see an example. A storage server with 12 NVMe SSDs comparing to NVMe SSD, the network, memory bandwidth, and the CPU become significant IO bottleneck. In order to fully dig out the capabilities of our hardware, we need to do refined performance design to improve IO efficiency. Network is an obverse bottleneck in IO pass. Promoting 25 gig network into 100 gig is necessary. And now 100 gig network has been deployed in that center. Besides upgrade network hardware, we also need to reduce network traffic by software. By analyzing the whole system traffic flow, we found that the most of our user data can be further compressed and the network traffic can be reduced dramatically. In addition, erasure coding algorithm also benefits to the network traffic. After using erasure coding and the data compression, the network amplification factor can be reduced from 6.3 to 2.9. Maybe few people notice memory bandwidth will become IO bottleneck. But in fact, memory bandwidth becomes significant bottleneck in high performance design, high performance storage system. Pang Wu proposed remote direct cache access method try to bypass DDR memory in FastPass. This technology can be called as RDCA, which can DMA data from RNIC into CPU cache line directly to save memory bandwidth. In previous Pang Wu design, that pass traffic is transmitted by RDMA and the background data uh, still using TCP to move data. In extreme high performance system, TCP consumes lots of memory bandwidth and become critical bottleneck. In order to resolve this issue, we switch background traffic from TCP to RDMA, but need to handle queues issues. By that network memory consumption can be reduced by 75%. For IOPS intensive applications, CPU is also a very important bottleneck. Pangu fully use many core architecture and offload computational tasks from CPU to hardware, such like using FPGA-based compression card to save CPU resource and also offload CRC task into ARNIC. After using above methods to improve performance, we can see the throughput can be increased consecutively. We can take the throughput of our 2 by 25 system, gig system as a baseline. From the method 1 to 6, the overall throughput can be improved by 6.1 times. At last, we can do a brief summary for this paper. Pangu is a large-scale unified storage system developed all over the world in Alibaba Cloud. And the second generation of Pangu did work performance de design and achieves outstanding latency and IOPS benefits to both latency and throughput sensitive users. That's all about my presentation today. Thanks a lot, and any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you again.